Oh my god. Dan, oh my god. Good, you're both in here. You, I'll talk to in a second. You, have you lost your friggin' mind? Well, he said they were excellent questions. Okay, you think this is funny. You think it's funny to disrespect a great man. Do you know who you were just talking to in there? That was Teddy K. Teddy K, goddammit! Look, we've been carrying your fat, bloated salary for way too long. I want you out of this building within the next 10 minutes. I'm going to my office, I'm gonna smoke a nice Cuban cigar, and try to forget that you ever existed. You, in my office, now. Mark, don't do that. Excuse me? Look, the guy busts his ass and- And what? Nothing, I'm sorry. I just, if you fire him, you're gonna have to fire me too. Wait, let me get something straight here. You're throwing yourself in with him? With this useless over the hill loser? Think here, think about what you're doing because if you're not careful, you could end up like him. I guess that that would be okay. All right, then you're fired too, you little shit. Well, it's too bad, because uh, you're gonna lose a huge account that Dan and I have been working on. It was gonna save the year for us. Without it, the magazine's pretty deep in the red. Really? What account is that? You think we'd actually tell you? You're bluffing. I don't bluff. I'm not that good of a salesman. Yeah, well, I don't give a crap. I think Teddy K will. See, I'm going to call him, and I'm going to tell him that you single-handedly drove his most profitable magazine, his flagship, right into the ground. And he'll remember my name. He likes what I did with cell phones. You've got 24 hours, or you're both gone. <laughs>